Hi, this is Quant Tomat. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you a new uh, market data API that appeared just recently, and I believe that it's pretty good value for money. If you like my content, please uh, like my video and subscribe to my channel. This will help me to create more and better content for you. So in this video, I will review a uh, bar chart Excel API. I'm not a very big fan of Excel, but quite a lot of people still use it for quantitative purposes. And uh, I think that this API has pretty impressive features for its many. So price is 50 bucks a month. And so let's go straight to Excel to see what this API can offer you. To use bar chart Excel API, you need to install bar chart add-in. Installation is pretty straightforward, so I won't spend time on it. Let's look at what functionality do you have here. So first of all, let's look at quote. So when you click this button, you have this pop-up and on the left here, you can find all the instruments that are available to you. So you have currencies, some crypto and Forex, you have ETFs, and you have uh, futures, you have indices and you have stocks. So let's add a few instruments and see what we can do with it. So um, let's start with, I don't know, let's add a SPY, for example. Let's add some stocks like Apple. Uh, let's add, um, I don't know, let's add some futures. We can see um, we have like, for example, April gold future, we have it as well. We can add uh, BTC USDT, for example, some crypto. And so also we can use uh, some, um, some forks, for example. And um, here also you can add a few, some columns, uh, if you want, we want in your code, you can go here, click edit fields, and you can find quite a lot of different fields. You can find quite a lot of um, fields with uh, some technical analysis, like moving averages, you know, months highs and, and so on. So let's um, close it for now and like, click insert. And as you can see, it works pretty good for you. It's just in a second you have your uh, your code, and as you can see, it updates in real time. In addition to usual code, you can find option code as well. You can click this option prices button, and here you can select instrument you are interested in options on. Select this instrument. You can select different um, columns, and uh, you can find here stuff like Greeks, like light wall, you know, moneyness, and so on. Here you can select options you're interested in. You can select multiple uh, options as well. Uh, here you can select how many strikes do you want to see around the money. And let's click insert and see how it works. So as you can see, just in a second, you have all the options, prices for the calls and for the puts, you know, like all the prices and Greeks, for example, as you can see, it works uh, pretty good. Now let's look at probably most interesting thing for me. Uh, it's historical data. You can click this history uh, button and um, and in the window, you can select uh, instrument you're interested in. Let's select Apple again. And um, the most exciting thing is that actually you can add not only like prices for your, for your instrument, but also you can calculate uh, studies um, in the background. So for example, I want to add blinger bands. Um, and also I want to um, add, for example, whole moving average. Let's click apply and that's it. Bar chart will calculate uh, these studies for us and will output with the price. So it can be quite handy. Also, we can select different columns. You can select um, additional columns for your instruments. And uh, let's click insert for now and see how it looks. So as you can see, just in a second, you have your price is ready, you have blinger bands calculated, you have full move average calculated. As you can see, it works pretty good. I think by default, it'll put it for us like, I don't think, 100 um, rows, but you can change uh, this easily. So let's uh, click uh, history again, and let's say, okay, I want to output last 10,000 rows. Let's click insert. And um, it pretty quickly, it will put you like almost entire history of Apple without any problem. So that's quite uh, nice. Let's go to uh, history again and see what else can we do. So first of all, you can select different time frames, and as you can see, there is quite a lot of uh, quite quite many time frames available. So basically, you can go to intraday up to one minute chart. Let's select I don't know, 30 minutes and see how it works.
So as you can see, we waited for a bit, but now we have 30 minutes uh, time frame for Apple and it also outputted us 10,000 rows. That's not a problem for a bar chart. So let's uh, go again and we can see that in, in our time frame, we can go even to tick data and um, bar chart will work for us as well. It will output it us tick data without any problem. So that's kind of nice. Also in history here, you can um, adjust a few things. So you can select, you know, do you want it ascending or descending? You can uh, select different adjustments. Do you want to do? Do you want it to be adjusted only for splits, but also all for dividends and so on. And also you can play with, you know, the date range you want to display uh, this uh, data for. In this API, you can uh, chart uh, your data pretty easily as well. So you can click this uh, chart button and here select uh, your instrument. For example, let's select uh, um, Apple again. And also you can apply studies. Let's apply building events, for example. You can click insert and uh, basically it works as historical um, like for function, but also it will add you a chart of everything you requested. So it can be quite handy to quickly create uh, charts for the price. Also in this API, you can find a set of pretty useful screeners for different asset types. So let's look at stocks, for example. Here you can see uh, the list of uh, different screeners are available to you. So you can uh, go and see, okay, what is performance leaders? You know, select the period and other things. And let's click, click insert. And just in a second, you will see what are the performa performance readers um, for today. So for um, ETFs, you can find um, some useful screeners as well. You can select uh, like price change, for example, leaders, and you will see all the ETFs with uh, appropriate like performance and all the, um, all the columns you will select. You can find pretty interesting screeners for options as well. Um, you can see that um, you have here like usual options, activity, change in open interest, uh, percent change in volatility and so on. So it can be pretty useful screeners for you. You can also select the type of um, assets you want to look at options on. Also um, for the futures, you can find some screeners here as well. So for example, you can go and select, you know, like uh, all the futures for energy um, and let's create, click insert and here you can see you know summary of all energy futures are available at the moment you also have a few screeners for currencies as well you have few screeners for forex few screeners for crypto you can use the screeners as well and the last thing about functionality of uh, this api is actually you can go to barchar.com you can create your own watch list and um, keep it out uh, there and you can select this watch list and add it to your excel pretty quickly and also you can create portfolio on barchar.com as well and also you can track your portfolio in your excel pretty easily as well so that's it about functionality of this api so what do i think about it so um, is it perfect? Well, no, unfortunately it was released only one month ago and I believe it's just too buggy at the moment. During um, this video, you, I think you saw multiple times when it just lost connection to barchar.com and I tried to reconnect it again. And um, sometimes when you add too much info on your chart, Excel can crash and uh, this happen time to time. But the question is, does it worth it? So, and I believe if you use historical data in your Excel, it might work for you because it actually for 50 bucks a month, it gives you access to pretty impressive amount of data you can use in your Excel. I don't use much other features like quotes, you know, like quotes and screeners in Excel. It's not my thing, but for data, it might worth it. And I believe during um, the next few months, uh, bar chart will be able to make it better and more stable. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next one.